At HPE Discover Las Vegas, one of the main talking points was HPE's announcement of their own virtualization solution. Today, at HPE Discover Barcelona, HPE announced a significant update to that, HPE VM Essentials. Let's talk about it. Hi, it is Marcos here again. If it is your first time here, this is where we discuss everything around enterprise IT, from bare metal to cloud native. Great to see you stopped by. As we know, Broadcom has raised VMware license prices to the stratosphere. They also took 2,000 of their biggest VMware customers direct and reset their partner program. While many customers are very unhappy, most of them are still running VMware, simply because they do not have a choice. So HPE announcing an alternative to VMware is a symphony to customers' ears. I know, because I asked right after Antonio Neri's keynote at HPE Discover Las Vegas, and 44% said that the HPE hypervisor was their favorite announcement. Today, at HPE Discover Barcelona 2024, they announced HPE VM Essentials that takes it to the next level. But before I go into details, I want to zoom out a bit, because with this announcement, the bigger picture is getting clear. HPE can now help with all your virtualization challenges. If you decide to stay with VMware, HPE can help you optimize costs. But if you are ready to move away from VMware, HPE can help with a smooth transition to an open platform and go cloud native and upgrade to a hybrid cloud in the process. I got your attention, right? Let's take a closer look. Even after everything, you might still want to stay with VMware. But you wouldn't mind saving on some licensing costs, would you? Well, if you start with the free HPE Cloud Physics Assessment, you'll gain a clear understanding of your current environment and be provided with optimization suggestions such as If you are limited by storage, consider using a storage array like HPE Electro Storage MP, which allows you to scale storage without adding compute, hence saving in VMware licensing. If you are not using the latest CPUs, you might be licensing more CPU cores than you actually need. Maybe worth looking at updating your infrastructure to something more optimal from HPE's private cloud portfolio. Now, if you choose to move away from VMware, things get a bit more interesting. Migrations can be painful, I know, but with change comes opportunities. A wisdom that is especially true in this case. The first step is future-proofing yourself. Now, this is where the newly announced HPE VM Essentials comes to the picture. In Las Vegas, HPE announced the so-called embedded version of their hypervisor, back then called HPE Virtualization. This meant that you could use it only with HPE Private Cloud. Now, with HPE VM Essentials, you can use it either embedded or as a standalone software running on any server. HPE Proliant or a third party, just like any other hypervisor. Not only that, but HPE VM Essentials allows you to manage both VMware and HPE hypervisor clusters from one single user interface. Furthermore, it will allow you to convert VMs from VMware to HPE hypervisor with professional services help if needed. Customers will surely be happy to hear that HPE VM E is priced per CPU socket not per core, with no extra charge for connecting to existing VMware clusters. A lot of HPE technologies had to come together to achieve all this, not least HPE's latest acquisition, Morpheus Data. In fact, according to HPE, HPE VM Essentials is the first step in utilizing Morpheus across the HPE portfolio. HPE VM Essentials will be available in December 2024. HPE VME is a big deal, and now that we have the hypervisor bit sorted, we are ready to go cloud native and make some of your apps run as containers instead of on VMs. This will open a host of benefits for you in the form of app mobility, greater efficiency, being future-proof and platform agnostic. HPE Private Cloud Portfolio is purpose-designed to support bare metal, VMs and containers. 
It's built on proven HPE ProLiant servers, HPE Allegro storage, and HPE Aruba networking. And then the finishing touch, going hybrid. I'm sure I do not have to remind you of the risks that come with putting all your eggs in one basket. So let's try to avoid that from now on, shall we? A modern way is to use at least two clouds or more, preferably one of which is your private cloud for resiliency, maximum cloud service offering and security. Again, HP Private Cloud allows you to manage your workloads across private and public clouds. Thanks to HPE's recent acquisition of Morpheus Data, all this from one single user interface. As frustrating as battling this new VMware licensing is, there are now alternatives. Maybe you'll find yourself even better prepared for the future if you see this as an opportunity to take your business to the next level by modernizing your apps and going cloud native and hybrid. That is all from me this time. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. See you with the next video.